What's up guys? Welcome back to GIS Chops. My name's Jeff. Today I'm going to show you a little setting that can ruin your day if you don't know about it. So stick around. In ArcGIS Pro they have tried to slim things down a bit by making things that used to be dialog boxes in ArcMap into geoprocessing tools, which already existed in ArcMap. So they're trying to make one th two things in ArcMap one thing in ArcGIS Pro. And sometimes that can come back to bite you. Like if we go here to this ID field and hit Calculate Field, you notice there's this little Enable Undo but or switch down here at the bottom. In ArcMap, when I would calculate a field and I didn't have an edit session running, ArcMap would warn me saying, hey, you're not in an edit session, you're not going to be able to undo these changes, are you sure you want to continue? But with ArcGIS Pro, we don't have that. There's no warning message, there's just that little enable undo switch down at the bottom, and it's toggled to the off position by default. So if you are like me and you calculate fields to see, sometimes I just put expressions in there to see if they work, and look at the results and then save the changes if I'm in an edit session. With ArcGIS Pro, if I do that, that can really ruin my day because the changes aren't, you can't undo them. So uh, be careful of that. Make sure you hit that enable undo if you're just trying out your calculation. So in earlier versions of ArcGIS Pro, that switch wasn't even there. You couldn't undo any edits or any field calculations. And I, I think that enable undo is on other tools as well, but I've only encountered it really with the field calculation geoprocessing tool. So that switch wasn't always there, and there was an idea in the Esri Ideas site that asked for that the field calculation be added to the undo stack. And they say it's implemented, but again, that switch is off by default. So it would be nice if we had that enable undo switch turned on by default, if we had a setting in the options that we could have that, or if Esri had a warning message that said, hey, these are going to be permanent. Something like that, so these, these field calculations don't become permanent. So Esri, please add a warning message that tells us these are going to be permanent, or an option that lets us turn that enable undo switch on by default so that we don't don't get those permanent field calculations that we can't fix. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. It's a bit of a shorter video. I hope that's okay. If you like the shorter videos, let me know in the comments. If you want longer ones, let me know there too. Uh, head on over to GIS Chops at Facebook. We're going to be discussing things there, and maybe that's where we'll have most of our contests and giveaways. I'm still thinking about that. Let me know what you think about that. But take a minute, give this video a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Let your friends know. If you want to see the other videos in Tool Belt Tuesday, that's right here. My latest video is up there. And I'll, as always, subscribe's right there. Thanks. When you calculated a field, it... What? I got a train going by? Or just buses. Kindergartners are going home. <laughs> Sorry about that.